also come to our final round of question. And this would just be a short um, impression into saying, uh, what are actually your recommendations to a person uh, teaching and researching at universities? So how, what would you, from your perspective, either from a, a high education institutions like uh, Heliopolis University, as well as from a global perspective from UNESCO, uh, what would you recommend to a person teaching and researching at universities? Mm -hmm. uh, may you, Dr. Leicht, uh, would you like to start with this? Oh, okay, thank okay, thank you very much. Well, uh, well uh, li listening, listening to, to the great example of Heliopolis University, I could just say, look at what Heliopolis University is doing and try to uh, try to replicate uh, it and try to uh, try to put it into action in, in your context as a recommendation to a, to a teacher. And that's certainly one of the things I can say is to look at all the good work that is being done uh, across the world and try to uh, try to get inspiration uh, from it. But to answer in a more more uh, maybe slightly more 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 general. Uh, way I think um, I think it's very important for 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 for, for teachers um, first to talk in the classroom really independent of the subject that they are teaching uh, to talk about what matters to their students what matters to the students uh, individual lives and what what matters to the students in the sense of the society that they are a part of this would certainly mean then to talk about what big uh, sustainable development challenges like like climate change, for example, or or poverty um, uh, across the world. So talk about and address what matters. Second item is uh, I think uh, take your take your students seriously. Let students engage in the search for sustainable development solutions. Let them take action. Let them understand what it means to to, to solve a problem and find the problem themselves. That's all clear final answer to sustainable development uh, issues. Everyone needs to be engaged in the in the search uh, for it. And the third recommendation um, is uh, look beyond your individual work, look beyond your subject area, make linkages to, 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 uh, to other subjects, make, a subject, uh, make linkages to what your colleagues are working on, make linkages to what is happening in your local community outside of the walls of the education. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Leif. And now, Professor Aberlech, um maybe to you also the, the same question. Um, so what you, would you recommend um, to teachers um, at universities how to engage for education for sustainable development? Please, Professor Aberlech. Look, uh, my experience, not reading, uh, look, talking now about theoretical aspects, but my experience is every professor had to be engaged in research. But the main research activities is taking about 80% of the time of the research. They don't have much time for uh, education. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it is now created at Heliopolis that a lot of people are working more in research, very little in education. More and other are very uh, uh, more in, in education and very very little in uh, in research, but we bring them together in the research meeting where they hear and learn about the research, uh, not only results but even the process of research, and uh, then they are so fertilized, fruiting from each other to to learn. Uh, there is no education without research. There is no, you can't repeat your lectures over years until uh, you have to, to see what is going on new, and that is research, means how to, to discover the future. Uh, but uh, let me uh, ask my friend, Dr. Uh, Lecht, two questions. A proposal for you, Dr. Leicht. What is if the UNESCO is creating awards for the member state who are doing their work, encouraging them to do it? Also, awards for the minister, awards, and, and it must be published uh, in, uh, globally that people can seek for taking the award. Yeah, 
And the second one, that is uh, I'm asking you to create uh, so training course for the faculty member who don't have any idea about sustainable development. Not only Heliopolis, many of the professors in all the country, they don't know what is this. And, uh, and I think this, uh, this initiative must be taken from the UNESCO. Uh, you make it in Egypt, or, we, or you, you, I know that you are living in Paris, so that people can then go here and, and learn how to teach sustainable development, mm -hmm. especially, especially the, at the university. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Professor Abelesh. And of course, we'll give the opportunity to Dr. Leicht uh, to respond to this question. Please, Dr. Leicht. OK, so I think and I know we're at, the, we're at the end of our session, but very, very briefly. Um, uh, about the about the award, and in fact, we, we, it's true we don't have an award for really for governments and for, for ministers. But what, what I can, what I'm very happy to report, is that we do have. Uh, we started this year actually. We just started this year um, a big new global award for education for for sustainable development. The award will be given out um, in November for the first time. The three winners, each one will will receive fifty thousand dollars. So it's quite a substantial. Um, a substantial UNESCO award, and um, and governments and ministers can certainly be nominated, but not only government and ministers. So we also have among the winners uh, NGOs or individual practitioners. But it's certainly an, an effort from our side to um, to prove visibility at the global level so to generate some some action. Because that's what I can say about the award. And it's a very important to about the faculty training. What what we're trying to do at the moment is to provide. Um, uh, material for that online, and we're also trying to find resources to, in fact, uh, together with our partners, uh, try to offer such a training for teachers, educators, uh, faculty members on the ground. And it's certainly very, very important reminder that uh, faculty are really in a university to be properly. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Right. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Leicht, also for responding to this uh, question, and uh, of course, Professor Aberlech also for um, your valuable input to both of you. And we are actually now at the end of our first ELT um, online webinar, and I'm very glad it worked out very fine. And um, we had one, two very distinguished and wonderful guests here in our online panel with um, beautiful insights into, on the one side, institutional um, activities for, on education for sustainable development at Heliopolis University for Sustainable Development, and at the other side um, by Dr. Leicht from the UNESCO ESD program on how UNESCO actually promotes education for sustainable development, now also in the new developments of the upcoming sustainable development goals. So, dear audience, thank you very much for your participation, either live or now after this live session. The session will be recorded and will be uh, online also for um, further time. So, thank you very much, everybody, and looking forward to meet again online. Or physically. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, dear Clemens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.